Hello, hello, hello. I thought I'd introduce you to my swimming pool and to my boat. Here you see the boat in my swimming pool. I have tried carefully to put black lines on that white paper right at the waterline. I did reasonably well. So you see one on the very left and on the very right on the white piece of paper. The problem that I have, and I, it may happen when I put ice cubes in, that there is a certain degree what we call parallax. That means that the camera is looking from above. And therefore, the angular separation between the waterline and my marks is not zero. But I didn't do so badly, did I? I hope I will do equally well now that I'm going to put the ice cubes in. Okay, I think this is sort of the best I can do. Okay, so I put in as many ice cubes as I possibly can. It's clear that the water line goes up, of course, because of the weight of the ice cubes. So I will mark again, to the best of my ability, with a red marker where the waterline is. And again, forgive me if I'm not right on because there could be again some parallax. But I'll try. I'll first put a small dot there. Oh, that's too high. That one is also a little bit too high. So the one on the left is quite good. Teeny weeny little bit too high. But I don't want to have to redo this demonstration. So keep concentrating on the black line. They are both quite accurate and on the new red one and take the one that I see on the left. <laughs> Maybe you will see it on the right. It's a little bit above the waterline. By the way, the water level changed by about um, seven millimeters or so. The water line went up because of the weight of the ice cubes. So. Try to memorize where the water line is relative to the red line. And now I'm going to put the ice cubes in the water.
Okay, so all the ice cubes are now in the water. And notice that within the accuracy of my measurement, the water line is again where it was at the red line. Yeah, admittedly, this is not the way I would have done the experiment at MIT. There I would have been able to measure the position of the lines to a very high degree of accuracy. Here at my home I cannot do it much better than maybe a millimeter. So I will leave this now alone and then an hour from now when the ice cubes have melted I will take another video. Unfortunately I cannot put it on this video because I do not know how to edit videos. So I will just wait an hour, you have to take my word for it then, that all the ice cubes, you can see the ice cubes by the way on the, on the video, you can see some, some of the, you see the ice cubes here. And then we will again look at it and I will predict then that within the accuracy of my measurement, which is not super high, the waterline will be exactly the same, whatever that word exactly means what it is now. So, come back in an hour and you will see another video.